Um, Denver 7's Colette Bortle on the Office of Civil Rights, which is part of the U.S. Department of Education, will be investigating two claims of alleged racial discrimination from within the Denver public school system. These claims are that the system discriminated against white students and white people applying to be part of a certain committee. Denver Public Schools is unambiguously treating students and community members different based on skin color. That's the main argument coming from Will Trackman, who filed complaints on behalf of a conservative law firm with the United States Department of Education, Office for Civil Rights. One involves DPS's Discipline Matrix Committee, and that's a committee that gets together and decides what sort of severity of punishment is appropriate for students who break the rules. We had a good hunch that they were going to be using race as a factor in deciding who would join the committee. The other complaint is about the requirements for a math extension program at one elementary school. The district has a 95th percentile threshold for white students, uh, but for people of color, uh, according to our documents, they have a much lower threshold, a lower expectation. Trackman gave us copies of the complaints he filed. One says, quote, Caucasians and individuals of other races who applied to the Discipline Matrix Committee were discriminated against. The other says Caucasian, heterosexual, and cisgender students were discriminated against when it comes to a math extension program. What you can't do is say your race is what matters most, and we take your skin color and we put it above all else. That's inconsistent with federal civil rights laws. The Office of Civil Rights says they're going to investigate both. Hello, this is Iris. We called Iris Halpern, an attorney at a civil rights firm, who calls the coverage of these complaints overblown. It is, you know, required by law to investigate once those minimum thresholds are uh, disclosed or, or satisfied. It doesn't mean that there's any legitimacy to the, the complaints. She says these kinds of complaints have become more common. Threatening lawsuits to any organization that tries to deal with racial inequality and inequities in our contemporary society is by far more divisive. And I think you can see that for the last two to three years. This is a manufactured issue. These were not issues, and they're certainly not issues to the, you know, uh, populations that are impacted by them. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.